today we're going to talk about the post library that comes in Blender, which not everybody knows about, and also the post library thumbnails add-on, which is an old add-on that Siever and Stubel has been maintaining lately because they use it in the Blender Animation Studio and I think everybody should use it for their productions because it makes things easier. It's not a fully fledged animation and post library like the studio library that you'd find in Maya, which is sad because it's been too long that we've needed one, but that's what we get. So I'm Luciano and welcome to the adventures of Lollywood Band. This episode is sponsored by me. Use the code below to get 10% discount on any of my products. It's been a long time since I've created a new video, but with the illusion of scheduling, you've gotten a video every week, but really those videos were done about a month ago and I've actually taken a little bit of a holiday of creating videos because I was working on creating uh, my new course that it's gonna take a little bit longer than I expected because a lot of work has come through lately and has kind of gotten in the way and also that I want it to be well done. So I'll keep you posted on what's going on there. I'm Luciano and I teach about Blender and animation. I'm an animator with a couple of years of experience. I've worked in a few features and now I'm working on my first Blender feature with a studio in the Netherlands, which I'm super excited about because it's the first time I actually have the chance to work on a feature made in Blender. So if you're new to the channel and you're interested in animation and even more so animation in Blender, definitely subscribe, give, give a like if you like the content and yeah, let's check out how this works. So here I have Jane Rig and as you can see, I've already created some poses. So you can see you have these little buttons here. These ones are for reordering them. There's two, one at the top to create and delete poses and then this one to apply whatever pose to your rig as you see fit, right? Even if I don't have anything selected within the rig, it will still apply the pose. If I deselect anything and get fist, then you still get a fist. So that's one thing. So we got a few poses for one hand and really we can't do it in a simple way like to copy that to the other side. It's with the default system, it's kind of off the question. Luckily, because I haven't set any keys, and none of these are setting keys, so I can easily just copy and paste inverted if I wanted to do that, and then that will copy the post to the other side, and then you can key it. But it's a little bit of a hassle, right? First, before we move forward into the post library add-on, we'll figure out how to create this. So super easy. This is the one that I created for the hands. And now I'm just going to create one for the face. So I'm going to close this. As you can see, I click this. You should click it. So when you get rid of this, then it stays stored in the file. And we're going to create a new one. And it's going to be called Jane Facials, right? So let's say that's our pose. And so we want to basically save that pose. We're going to keep the rest zeroed out. And then this guy is there and then and so because we're going to add new pose right and so i can reset everything and then apply the pose and we get ah right and so we're going to reset everything again And now we're going to install and turn on the post library add-on. So we're going to go to a link post library on. And so we're going to go here and then from here, which is the original author. But now if you go here, you can find Sebrin Suvel's repository with the latest version but you don't want to download it from here directly. You want to go here to releases and then pick up this version here, which is ready to install. Once you do that, then you go edit preferences 
and then install and then you find add-ons and that's where I downloaded it right here and you should get this post library thumbnails 2.2 which is the version that currently is available once you install it you can type here or it should appear but you can still type it and then you get this one and you turn it on and then rapidly it starts turning on things here right so now this lets you set the rig prefix and the, and the post library name if you're using kind of stuff like that so that helps so now we want to be able to create those libraries and so for that you need to create the images manually right and so i'm going to bring this, this camera that i created already put it in front of her I'm going to do a library for the face interestingly we can't see anything it's because the clipping is very small which i'm going to push it back now we can see her right so if i push forward and make sure you make the resolution square no matter if it's a 1080 or 512 it could be 512 probably because it will load faster the images so let's do 512 by 512 and so make sure you can get it something like so and now we get the mouth there which is what we want and now we're going to go like post by post we're going to go post mode hide them and then go ah uh, so for instance this is going to be ah uh, and we're going to just we you can render it with better rendering settings so it looks prettier and then it makes it easier to see how it should look in the final one so that's definitely recommended and so viewport render image and then image save as so we're going to put this right with the other ones and we're going to call this uh and i'm going to call them exactly the same as i call the library poses because that will make it easier to find later on and then so on So now that we have that, we can go back here and first of all, click this, which creates the right naming convention for the library facials. And we're going to go and add for each one of them, the corresponding thumbnail. So I'm going to select ah, press add, and then in the thumbnails, just pick up that one. And now we get ah, going to go a, eh, add new one, a, eh, e, I probably grab the wrong one so that's the one e e o o now we get all of these ones working and then if we switch to the ones with the hands as you can see we can see the hands working there and also this add-on adds the apply flip option which lets you apply it to the other hand which is great and so you can switch between both of them right so Jim and Jane facials, Jim and Jane post library, and then flipped. And yeah, and so now we got a post library with crappy mouth shapes. Interestingly enough, so if you have nothing selected, it would apply it on everything. If you have some selected, it will apply it to just that. So hands, if I go hand, right? I have nothing selected, it will do it. If I only have, if I undo and only have, for instance, a couple of fingers selected, and I apply the fist, it only does the finger that I selected. So before we showed how to create the libraries and how to use them, but now we're gonna link the library to put it in another character that has the same type of controls. And so for instance, now we have the gym rig, which is the companion to the Jane rig. And I'm going to go into post mode. I'm going to go file, link, and I'm going to find the Jane file that contains the library and go into the actions and look for that hands. I completely forgot to save the file when I created the mouth shapes, so that's okay. And then I'm going to link this and you're gonna see that I can find here in my, in my data blocks for the actions. I can pick that one up. And if I turn on the layer that contains the hands and select the hand, I can potentially use it, right? And then I can apply flipped again and then do the same with the other hand and that should work. 
right if I click here I'll get the proper naming convention for the thing which I don't know what's the big deal about it but that kind of works and you can use it in both characters and so you can transfer that library to another character for using as well with a library overrides this should work fairly similar so there's a few limitations there but I think it's the best we got so that's it hope you enjoy hope your production can benefit from this video comment below if you have any more tips and tricks or maybe you know a post library that's cool that we should talk about and yeah like if you like subscribe and see me next time mm -hmm.